you're also being told you've got less than two years. What do you mean? I feel like I've got more than two years. I mean, she called me and said, Joel, I got your results back from Dr. Kane. Uh, you, have, you have cancer. Bye. You said, you know, on the spectrum of things, it's not good. It looks like it's lymphoma. By the way, you're going to need an oncologist. And I just... First Ascent is an organization that provides free outdoor adventure therapy for young adults ages 18 to 39 years old living with cancer. I can't pretend to understand uh, the cancer bond, but I do know what it's like to be bonded by kayaking, and I know how strong that is. They're choosing to, to challenge themselves in a way that they've never been challenged. None of these guys have ever kayaked before, and so coming and making the choice to go from a state of uncertainty anyway, whether it be health-wise or financially, whatever they're facing with their cancer at home, and to choose to do something beyond that that's even, even scarier and more unknown. Your mind tells your body that you're stuck underwater, and so you're in this really foreign place where it's dark and cold and quiet and you can't breathe, and you have to control your panic and get out. And this is a really big challenge. And they know that that river doesn't care whether or not they've had cancer, that it's not gonna take it easy on anybody. Yeah, sure, the river's gonna knock you down and it's up to you whether or not you get back up. That's when you see their true colors because once they're to the shore safely, it's up to them how they react. Do you get out or do you get back in? This is a fight that they've had since their day of diagnosis, since cancer took control of their life, since cancer gave them the illusion that they're fragile and to prove that, if anything, that diagnosis has made them stronger because they wouldn't be here otherwise. That was huge.